We are back with another Teacher of the Year profile. We're speaking with Janice Johnson, who is the Teacher of the Year for the Folsom Cordova Unified School District. Congratulations and thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me here. So tell us about yourself. Tell us where you teach and what you teach. I teach in Folsom Cordova Unified School District, like you said, at Vista Del Lago High School. And I teach English and yearbook and um, I teach mass communications under the career technical education umbrella and uh, and I also advisor for clubs and uh, all sorts of fun stuff. So tell us about how you teach mass communications and, and what you teach because it's it's a moving target as far as curriculum. Things change so quickly. Oh yeah, well um, recognizing that journalism, the, the state of journalism had changed so much over the last couple decades. Uh, I redesigned it so that it encompassed uh, the 21st century, it reflects the 21st century of um, media. So we not only just look at the writing for journalism, but we also look at podcasts, making videos, um, slideshows. And it's not all just about news either. Sometimes it's about uh, everybody kind of telling their own personal story so that there's more compassion and empathy on the campus. Everybody understands what, you know, the struggles and the walks of life everybody is going through. And it opened, and we also do design. We do um, some computer design programs. Uh, so they get like a really great wide look at what are all the careers that fall under that umbrella in a new century where everything has changed so much. And it's really exciting for them because it is a, it's a, it's an office environment. It's not like a typical classroom, but they feel like they're going to work each day. They like it. They feel empowered. But the media changes oh, rapidly. Yeah. I mean, uh, some kind of new technology pops up almost daily. But that makes it exciting, yeah. I think. It's, it, you, you're never like, okay, I know everything now. There's always something. For me, I feel like I have a new job all of a sudden. I, mm -hmm. I, I'm constantly having to learn new things to bring into them. What's great is they're teaching me all the time, too, because a lot of times they have the first access to the um, software or the apps or, or whatever kind of media, and they'll show me, and then we get excited and we show it to everybody. So. It, that makes it fun and also I think it's comforting to them to know that it's always changing so it's alive it's not dying this isn't a career field that's gonna die it's alive if it's constantly evolving and do you think that motivates them uh, because things oh, yeah. are changing so much plus uh, media is so integrated into their daily lives yes and I one thing I love about it is in the process of learning how to do it um, when they go home and they watch the news, they have more of a critical eye. They don't take everything at face value. They've learned how to ask questions. They understand really what true yellow journalism is, and they can identify it very easily. They can see where people are trying to manipulate them, um, and they feel, you know, they feel empowered and smart when they can catch that. And they also love to educate their family, their their peers. Um, they're more world aware and prepared. I think. I think it's it's. It, like everything for Common Core, it, it embraces everything about that, about the critical thinking and analysis and asking the questions. So you deal a lot with media literacy. Mm -hmm. Very much, even in my English class. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's real world learning right there. To know what is a good source and, and what is not a good source. Mm -hmm. And also, when, you, when you're reading the information, how to filter it. Um, to know when somebody is playing on your emotions rather than your logic or, you know, I mean, that's a very important thing for them is to not just read and, and be able to tell you what they read, but how does it connect to their world? How does it connect to their life? What does it mean for our community? What does it mean for your future? And when they feel that they are connected with the news that way, then they, they care about their learning a lot more. Then it matters. It, it, they have a reason to learn. They have a reason to come every day. And they're excited to come. And when they're excited to come, the learning is so much richer. And, and it's exciting for me, too, because I'm learning every day, too. And the subject matter applies to them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's their world. Mm. So how do you keep up with it all? Um, it's exhausting. I don't sleep. <laughs> um, I keep, you know what, just, tr I can't say that I'm always on top of it because it, like you said earlier, it evolves so quickly. So we are all kind of the eyes and the ears of what's going on and then we meet at the beginning of the period and we talk about what's going on in media right now. And it's the news, but it's also the developments of technology. Mm -hmm. And we educate each other as it evolves. I also stay very connected with, uh, on several, uh, news sources and blogs with other media teachers and we are 
uh, updating each other, educating each other. And so it's, it's not something that you can learn and then you just spend the rest of your life teaching it. You have to constantly relearn it and reapply, synthesize all sorts of different sources and uh, uh, mediums together. And, and sometimes you have to be very inventive and you create your own, own things, which makes it even more fun. So what motivated you to be a teacher and to get into this area of, of mass communications? Um, what motivated, those are very different answers. What <laughs> motivated me to be a teacher, because I was at first I was an English teacher. Mm -hmm. I was not in, in uh, journalism before that. And what motivated me to do that was really, um, in college, I, I wasn't headed to be a teacher, but I fell in love with literature so much and writing, and it's my passion, it's what I'm, I'm good at. So, uh, and I had been working in uh, education as, uh, I worked as a paraeducator for a lot of years. And so I was in the classroom working with educators constantly. It was in my blood. And every time I tried to leave to go work in private sector, I was always drawn back. I just love working with teenagers. I connect with them very well. It makes, I feel like it's a meaningful way for me to spend my life. Um, then when I was work, uh, when I first started with Vista Del Lago, they needed somebody to fill in in yearbook class uh, because the teacher had left. And I went in and it was very creative. Um, it wasn't just, I don't know, like I think people have a con uh, this concept that it's scrapbooking, mm -hmm. except for publishing. And it's not, you know, you have to have a lot of understanding about design and it's really critical writing skills. There's all sorts of things that go in there. You have to manage a staff. You need that the kids are learning business management. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I immediately fell in love with the creative nature of it. I also really loved the fact that it gave kids this real world hands-on look at what they can do in their lives. And for some of them, it changed their life because it was such an important part of it. Um, and from there, I thought, oh, I would love to be able to do this all the time. And I decided then to, um, I went to an institute to learn to how to teach journalism at Walter Cronkite in Arizona. Sounds, yeah. it, it was fantastic, and um, it, it's a big passion. It's a rebirth of me, so I, I'm just doing everything now. I love it. So now, what does it mean to you to be named as a Teacher of the Year? Oh, sometimes I I still wake up and go, really, me? But <laughs> <laughs> because I work with these teacher rock stars, I, I am surrounded by people that just, my, I'm always in awe of them, these teachers that are amazing. And so sometimes I feel like me, but I'm, I'm also really, uh, I don't want to say flattered, but I'm, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm so honored by it, you know, because I, I value the opinion of my, my colleagues quite a bit. Um, so I, I feel like I've got a lot to live up to, and I, I want to reflect my profession and my district really well, and I'm excited about it. So what would you say to someone uh, who is considering teaching? Uh, I, I would first know in your heart why you want to teach. You know, if you're going into it because like, oh, I'd love to have summers off and Christmases off, and it, mm. that's not a good enough reason you're going to end up quitting because it is a difficult job too. And uh, so I would say know in your heart why you want to teach. It needs to be somewhat altruistic. You need to be there because you want to affect a life or change the world, or you're really passionate about what you're teaching. There has to be a sense of passion involved. And if it's in you, if that passion is in you, go for it. And and dig into that class and throw yourself into it and, and fall in love with your kids. It's not you against them, it's you with them. Um, develop, a, develop relationships. Don't be afraid to have a relationship with your kids and you're gonna have such a meaningful life. It's mm -hmm. a very lucky person that gets to do this. It's a lot of work, but mm -hmm. high reward. Yeah, a lot of reward. Mm. Well, congratulations Thank to you, you and thanks for your time. We've been speaking with uh, Janice Johnson, who is the Teacher of the Year for 2016 for the Folsom Cordova Unified School District. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.